Hey Scorpios, hello guys. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. I am back. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. How is everyone doing? Hope that you guys are having a great Thursday. We are one day closer to the weekend. All right, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by my page. I appreciate you so much. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio family, so definitely hit the subscription button, okay? Remember, this is a general reading. Please, please, please only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? All right, so I want to make sure I clear out the energy first so we can have clear-cut energy from the universe, bringing good energy, good vibes to our energy, okay? All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started, Scorpio. We're going to see what's the overall energy for you guys, all right? All right, spirit angels and guys, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Please protect our energy as I channel the messages from the universe. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Any demonic forces, evil eye, witchcraft, anyone sending any negative energy that's not of my highest good towards my channel, my family, or my Scorpio family, I ask that you return the energy back to its rightfully owner, 10,000 folds, so more to be. Amen and amen. All right, so... <clears throat> So, of course, I bless my hands before we go any further. All right, Scorpio. So, let's get into this message. I'm going to be using my Cosmic Oracle Tarot. I haven't dive into these in a moment. So, let's see what we get from the universe from this deck, okay? All right. Universe, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Sariel, Metatron, Archangel Uriel, I invite you into my home and into this reading for my Scorpio. Show me what I need to see. Please tap me into the spiritual realm to show me what is going on within Scorpio energy. What is it that they're needing to know at this very moment? Channel message readings, please, for Scorpio. Channel message readings for Scorpio. Spirit angels and guides. What is the message here? Thank you. All right. <laughs> it says they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Oh, wow. So, Scorpio, there's someone that's coming back here and it's possibly a water sign. Oh, Lord. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. So, Spirit is saying expect to hear from a water sign very soon here. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to actually keep out this water sign here. And then right below that, we have communicate. So, whoever this water sign is, Scorpio, this is someone that Spirit is saying, expect to hear from them soon. They're going to try to com compromise with you, ask you for forgiveness, wanting to work things out. All right. So, oh, wow. Let's get into this energy. They will be back. And this is a water sign here. Okay. All right. So, let's see what's going on behind the scenes here, guys. Oh, let's see. Which deck do I want to use for you guys for this one? All right, so I will use this one. Spirit, angels, and gods, tell me about they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. So actually, I'm going to keep this water sign here down. So this was the first card that came out. They'll be back soon, okay? All right, so tell me about they'll be back soon. Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. Tell us about they'll be back soon. What is this energy here? What is it that my Scorpios are needing to know? All right, one more shuffle. Look at there, as soon as I split the deck, nine of swords. So this tells me someone is crying over you, Scorpio. Someone is going through like a deep, dark depression, anxiety, fear. Yeah, because the fact that now you're single, you're available to other people. You have, uh, other people have access to you. All right, show me what I need to see. <clears throat> all right let me get my chair together here all right tell me about they'll be back what is <laughs> what is it that scorpio needs to know so this can be a phone call a text message or email something here all right so we have king of pentacles a masculine energy here capricorn taurus virgo Someone is wanting to come back around to have something solid and stable with you. Oh, wow. Look at there. The Empress. The King of Pentacles to the Empress. So someone is coming back to get their queen, their king. Someone is wanting something long-term stable with you here. Wow. 
Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Sun. Wow, all major arcanas are coming out here. So someone could have had a big wake-up call, Scorpio. Someone has wanted to show you that they have changed. I feel like if you're wanting this person back, the wheel is about to turn in your favor. It's about to be sunshine and happiness and joy. Something wish fulfilled here. But with the Ace of Swords being in the reverse, I feel like you guys have not spoken in a while. And I feel like by you not speaking to this person, this may have changed them and made them realize some things about you here, okay? All right, so we're going to just go by these two, the King of Pentacles and the Empress. Wow, powerful energies here. Divine masculine, divine feminine. All right, who's this King of Pentacles? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. You could be the mother of their child. For my men, this could be, you know, a female, a mother figure, maybe someone you already have children with. Or just someone, you know, who operates out of their divine feminine energy. For my fellas, this can be you. You're the empress. Tell me about the king of pentacles. Oh, wow. I told you guys. Look at there. Nine of swords. It's this masculine here. Wow. We have the high priestess, Pisces energy. We have the king of cups in the reverse. This is you, Scorpio. And we have the, oh, Lord, we go from the nine to the ten of swords. Oh, wow. So whoever this king of pentacles is, they've been crying behind the scenes. Yeah, because you've already let them go. You let them go. You're not talking to them. They're very unstable, very unbalanced, and they wanted to get you back. They're trying to manifest you back. But what's hurting this person the most, Scorpio, is that you're quiet. You're not saying anything. Now, this person could be in an energy where... I just heard your silence is deadly. <laughs> your silence is killing this person. They don't know how to take you. Yeah, this can definitely be a water sign. Possibly another Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Now, I'm getting this in two different ways, guys. I get messages, downloads very fast. So, I feel like you're not giving a shit about this person because they betrayed you. They backstabbed you. Whatever this ending was, you're very cold-hearted towards this person. And this is stressing them out because you're not saying anything. You're not communicating. You're not opening up. You're not opening up here. Yeah. Wow. Now, for others of you, this masculine energy with the king of pentacles, male or female, take what resonates. <sighs> this person could have left you crying. This person could have had you up in your head and maybe they're the one that's not saying anything. They're keeping quiet. They're staying to themselves. You feel like this person manipulated you. It had you in your head, made you feel sad and depressed here because of the ending. Okay? That's not going to be for everyone. But from the 9 to the 10, oh my goodness, this is nothing but mind. Mind control. This is like a mind fuck type of energy. Someone is in their head constantly. I really, I really feel like this is you. This person is crying and upset because you're not giving two shits about them anymore. You're not giving that love, that emotional support. You're not loving them like you used to. I also get as though this person is in their head because they feel like you don't love them anymore after this ending. You, it's almost, I heard you shut down like Scorpio. You shut down completely and you just went silent. Your silence is killing this person. You're very intuitive here. But you choose not to entertain someone for some odd reason here. Yeah, like I said, you let this person go. You felt like they were too immature. They were too childish. Yeah. Tell me about the Empress. Wow. <laughs> I just heard this person is crying in silence. They're crying in silence. This is kind of similar to the previous video I just did today. Like someone is holding back. They're not saying anything. They're not expressing their feelings and emotions. They're staying quiet. Hmm. Wow. Tell me about the Empress. When it comes to, they'll be back. Yeah, your silence is killing someone here. Ever since this painful ending. And I feel like you're being quiet because of the betrayal. It's kind of like you're being wise enough to just shut up. And just don't say anything. Listen to your ancestors and spirit guides. Because this is a divine feminine here. So I feel like this Empress and High Priestess is you, Scorpio. And this King of Pentacles. See, you're knowing how to use your silence as a weapon instead of going off or, you know, just going off, you know, just doing things that's going to get this person's attention. You're learning how to be more sacred within yourself, be more wise about the words you use, the actions that you take. Very smart, very smart here. You may be, I'm telling you, you know, some of you guys may be a little cold hearted towards this person and this is fucking them up, y'all. I'm telling you, that's why they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. Expect to hear from them soon. 
this person, they can't take the fact that you're silent. It's killing them. What is the Empress when it comes to they'll be back? Show me what I need to see. This person can be a um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, Empress is a uh, Taurus and Libra as well. Yeah, Ten of Cups, a separation, a family, a marriage. It's gone, it's separated. Love was not enough for you. Yep, this Empress say, I'm not about to fight for this shit here. If we're over, if we're done, we're done. I'm going to remain quiet, stay a lady. For my fellas, I'm going to continue to be quiet. I'm not going to egg the situation on more than it would need to be. I'm going to stay in my Emperor Empress energy, ride high. Follow my ancestors, my spirit guides. Allow myself to understand my value, my worth. I'm not going to speak out of turn. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not about to fight for something that's already over. <laughs> Basically, what's the Empress? You're not showing them that you want this family back. You're not showing them that you want this relationship back. So someone here cannot take the silence anymore. It's killing them. Too many spirits, too many. Tell me about the Empress. Yes, the Empress and Emperor, they don't fight over no one. Yeah, look at there, justice. Libra energy. So you could be dealing with the Libra, three of cups. Yeah, this Empress, Emperor energy is like, mm -mm, I'm not about to fight for anything. I'm not going to lift a finger. I'm going to sit right here on my throne, looking pretty in my dress for my fellas. You got your crown on. You have been honored by the most high. You don't fight. You don't argue. You're not doing it anymore. You have been there. You've done that. You're, you're allowing the universe to handle this situation. A lot of scales to balance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're not going back to try to reconcile, fix anything you didn't break. Ten of cups and three of cups in a verse. Your love has really been removed from this situation. You're not giving your feelings. You're not giving your emotions, your time, your energy. You're just not fighting for this. You're like, hey, I'm the empress. Come on now. I'm not about to fight for something. That's what I got the universe for. They fight my battles. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting pretty. Yeah. And so I told you, this person's going to come after you. Someone is chasing this queen of wands. And on top of that, you're beautiful. You're handsome. You're gorgeous inside and out. You're confident. You're looking good out here. This person wants to bring this love offer to you. They're going to come to you in the night of cups energy. Why? Because they feel sad, guilt, remorse, and regret because you're not giving them attention anymore. You're not giving them that attention. You're letting go and letting God. You're just not ready to entertain this relationship anymore. You're just not. And with the hangman, again, this could be a Pisces. This is kind of giving me someone that kind of thought they knew more than you did or in their ego energy or they kept the relationship stalling. They stalled a little too long and this is why you don't want to work things out with them anymore. You'd rather just not speak to someone you feel like is toxic, low vibrational, you know? Yeah, you're not talking to them because they had, and they gave you this tower moment here. They gave you this tower moment here. Why? Because they were very immature. They didn't tell the truth. Look at these pages are in the reverse. There's no communication, no talking, nothing. You're not giving them nothing. You allow the tower to fall. You allow the tower to fall. But something is about to change in your favor where someone is going to ask for forgiveness to work things out. Yeah, someone want to spin the block. They want to come back to a marriage. And the Empress and King of Pentacles are married people. So a lot of you guys could be in a marriage here. This person want to come back home to where the home was broken. Now someone wants to come back and fix what's broken here. After they wasted too much time, left you waiting. Tick tock, I'm hearing. They left you waiting too long. Out of pride and ego. Yeah, I, for some reason, I'm getting like someone play games with you here. See, now they're trying to manifest you back with a magician. This could be a Gemini or a Leo with the strength card. After all this pride and ego and holding back, now they're trying to manifest you after some time apart. After you've already put this to bed. And I feel like you made up your mind. You no longer are interested in having a new beginning with this person. You are aware that you needed to end this situation. It wasn't an equal give and take anyway. You were given more than what you were receiving. And this person, unfortunately, they do want to keep this cycle open. They don't want to give you closure. It's because they're still holding on to your energy. This is like a fallen angel person. This is someone who doesn't want to close the chapter with you. I guess not. You're the empress. But they're unstable. They don't bring you peace and balance here. Yeah. Now they're trying to strategize a way how to come towards you after you let them go. Wow. Yeah, this is someone who's hard hit. This is someone who's hard hit. Didn't have faith in God. You know, feeling like, you know, this is someone who's like a negative mind state. This is someone who don't believe that their prayers are going to be answered in divine timing. This is someone who keeps repeating cycles over and over again. And Scorpio, I don't feel like you want to do that. This person shouted your dreams, you know. 
made you question, was this really my twin flame? Or was this a playboy playgirl? But see, that's the thing. They're coming towards you to have this new beginning in love. You know? Yeah, to ask you for another chance. But they don't know how you feel. Look at there. Five, two, one. Five plus two plus one is eight. Eight of pentacles. Their goal is to come work things out with you after either you walked away or they walked away. But someone is missing you. They feel out in the feel left out in the cold. They don't know what to do. They don't know how you feel. But they want to bring this offer to you. It's kind of like they're juggling. Should I come to? Should I call Scorpio? Should I not? Should I just fall back? I mean, I am missing them, you know. They're in their head about it. They're in their head because they know they haven't they haven't took any type of action towards you to make this work. They have not done anything to put in the work. So it's like you walking away was plausible. We have 88 here. Yeah, they know that right now you've blocked them. You're not talking to them because they made a foolish decision here. Wow. So after all this backstab, betraying, this painful in between you and this person, you're allowing the universe to handle everything that's going on. You're not, you're not putting yourself out there. You're not loving this person. Even though you are a lovable person, you're just choosing to pull back your love, your time, your energy, your support. And this is fucking with this person because you're quiet after this betrayal. You're not chasing them is what I'm getting. You're not chasing them. You let in the cookie crumble. That's just that, you know? But yeah, this definitely is going to be a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who's going to reach out to you to try to work it out? Compromise. This can also be a fire sign. Now, this may come during the Mercury retrograde. We do have another Mercury retrograde that's coming up towards the end of this month. Yeah. Yeah. So, fire sign or water sign, okay? So, the signs I see here, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Libra here, okay? All right, guys. So, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.